This video demonstrates a device used to provide easy boarding of cargo or wheelchair-bound passengers on aircraft with cargo doors, such as the Pilatus PC-12. Advantages of this device are that it requires no aircraft modification, is quick and easy to install, is very lightweight, and can be carried on board as removal equipment in the baggage compartment. In the case of the Pilatus PC-12, the aircraft is prepared by the removal of one or more seats to make a boarding area for the wheelchair. Once that is done, a simple interface is installed in the seat rails. Next, a lifting column is installed. A roller at its base allows it to freely adjust angle relative to the aircraft to prevent compressive loading as the aircraft is fueled or boarded. A lifting platform is then installed on the column riser assembly. The angle of the lifting platform relative to the column can be easily adjusted to compensate for changes in column angle. Boarding ramps are lowered. These ramps have three positions, stowed, safe, and deployed. Magnets hold the ramps stowed, and mechanical quick-release pins hold them in the safe position during transit up or down. Viewers should keep in mind that this is a prototype. A commercial model would be visually and mechanically refined. Lifting time is around 20 seconds. The light-duty drill shown provides 10 to 15 lifts per charge. A heavy-duty industrial model was also tested and provided more lifts per charge as well as a shorter lift time. A number of lightweight collapsible wheelchairs are available that are compatible with this device. Other variants of the platform may be developed to handle powered wheelchairs as well as cargo. The interior configuration demonstrated is the Executive 6 plus 2 with seats 3, 5, and 6 removed. This system works equally well with the Executive 6 seat configuration with seat 5 removed. Okay, Chris, go ahead. Once on board, the passenger transfers to an aircraft seat. The wheelchair is then stowed along with the platform and lifting column in the baggage compartment. The interface may be removed from the seat rails for flight, and a quick-release seat such as that sold by Pilatus for the PC-12 may be installed in its place in order to regain full seating capacity on the aircraft. Variants of this patent-pending device are envisioned for the PC-12 and other aircraft types.